If you're here for Camaro content, you may wanna switch off this video right now, but I wish you would hang around because this race car is another thing that I've built or am building and I'm very passionate about it and it's a really cool project. And uh, yeah, I get to do lots of racing with it. So uh, all the skills that I am putting into the Camaro, I learned building this car. So there might be some stuff here to interest you. Now, why do I got it back in the shop? Well, let's go over that. Uh, all right, so um, this livery is old. The pink, uh, it was a fluorescent pink. You can see it's faded in many spots and uh, it's looking pretty blotchy. So it is getting a livery change. But before we do that, I'm gonna try to get 100 pounds out of the car. It is a little on the heavy side still. So uh, it's getting a lot of carbon fiber. So I'll go over some of the stuff with you. This splitter as an example, my front splitter, that is eighth inch aluminum and it runs all the way back to that area there. So I'm gonna be changing that to carbon fiber sheet. And this here, my rear spoiler, this is also eighth inch aluminum, also very heavy. And so that is getting remade in carbon fiber. My diffuser down there, that's the diffuser. That is also getting made out of carbon fiber. What else? This engine cover is getting made out of carbon fiber. Well, fingers crossed. I've never worked with carbon fiber before, so I'm hoping that I can make it work. This is gonna get recreated in carbon fiber. The, currently, the hood is separate from the front fenders. What I wanna do is I want to fiberglass them all together as one piece, and that will allow me to get rid of some of the structure I have underneath here. Uh, that holds the hood up. So that is going to reduce some weight as well. And I got to smooth out this bodywork. This was all fiberglassed here. I got to smooth that all out. Oh, and the doors. I want to make the doors out of carbon fiber too. Here is my big old roll of carbon fiber. I've done some fiberglass work before. I'm hoping that this is going to be all right. But anyways, so that's, uh, oh, uh, also with my tires, like this, it is very hard to change tires because they're tucked inside the wheel well. So I'm also going to be cutting this up a little bit here so that I can take those wheels off and put them back on easily. So that's just a few things that I'm doing to update the car. So basically, yeah, drop 100 pounds and make it pretty again. So it's gonna be a new livery. There will be pink in the new livery, but it is gonna be very different from this all fluorescent pink stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, I also plan on um, moving this intercooler. So this is my intercooler. So I plan on moving my intercooler here. And currently my grill is blocked off. Uh, this will have an opening and it's gonna go through the intercooler and out because underneath this intercooler, I actually have a pretty big fan sucking air through here and I can get rid of the fan if I do it up here. So that's also part of the plan. So anyways, follow along with my videos. These will, these will be in my MGB playlist. And I hope I can drag some of my uh, Camaro fans over to this car and watch some of the other things that I do in my spare time. So here we are with the original intercooler location. Uh, there's a fan underneath there. So the reason I placed it here was I'm trying to get as much weight on the back tires as possible. So everything, like I shoved everything back that could be back there. But um, I'm gonna be taking this intercooler here, this vibrant intercooler, and I'll be placing it in this area here and I'll be ducting air through it and out through the hood. So uh, that is the plan. I know it's gonna put a little more weight on the front of the car, but it'll also get rid of some of this tubing and uh, 
it w eliminates the fan. So it should take some weight out of the car, which I think is more important <clears throat> than having every tenth of a percent of weight on the back tires. I don't know if it was obvious why I cut out the center section of my upper shock mount, but I needed to get the air from the grill area th through to the intercooler there somehow, and I couldn't go under or over it, so I had to go through it. I'm gambling that it's gonna be strong enough without all that middle stuff in there. Um, I tend to over-engineer things, so it probably is plenty strong enough. Uh, there's not a lot of forces on here. I mean, I only have 300 pound springs in the car, so there's just not a lot of force up here. Anyways, I've already mounted my intercooler. There it is. And so you can get the idea of what, I mean, those little dimple diadem and everything, the brackets. Anyways, okay. So now I need to duct air from here to through there up to that. So what I did was I got some of this, uh, Look at that, it's got a pink panther on it. It's meant to be. And I got some of that and I cut it up into uh, sections, uh, you know, like two foot by two foot sections. And I glued the sections together using this 3M Super 77. This stuff's really good. I've used this for sticking stuff together. This is awesome stuff. Anyways, so I stuck it together. I stacked them four high to make a shape there and Ta-da, I made this shape. So um, you can see how, wait a minute. See how that's cut there? It's cut to go into there. And I used uh, an orbital sander to sand this down. Okay, so there, it's just like that. And my hood goes over top of that. Uh, this is just the start, obviously. I have to make another little section there and then another another one back there. But anyways, so now how it'll work is I'll take this, now that I've carved this into the right shape, I will cover this in um, packing tape. I'll cover it completely. And then uh, I'll fiberglass or carbon fiber, I haven't decided yet, over top of the whole thing. And once I've done that, and it's all set and dried, then I can get rid of the foam. Uh, there's a couple of ways of getting rid of the foam. You can you can uh, cut it out of there, obviously, with tools and stuff. You can cut the foam out of there. You can melt it out of there with heat, but you can also just dissolve it with acetone. So when acetone, well, you know what? I'll just show you. I'll just show you right now. Here's a little here's a little piece of that pink foam with some acetone and show you what happens. It just dissolves to nothing. So anyways, once I get rid of the foam, I'm left with a carbon fiber or fiberglass shell, which is the duct. And then I'll do the same thing for here and the same thing for this part back here. And then I need to cut the hood. I need to cut an opening in the hood once that's all fitted, everything's all perfect with all that, then I can fiberglass the hood onto the fenders and make this all a one piece removable front clamshell. Well, my first bit of carbon fiber dest destruction, <laughs> I almost said, <laughs> no, construction, is uh, almost done. Uh, it's that piece that goes right there for ducting the air. And uh, yeah, it, it's, you know, it's more difficult to work with than fiberglass, but it didn't turn out too bad. So I just gotta do some trimming. I gotta empty, I gotta get that, all that uh, pink foam out of there. And uh, yeah, it should, it should fit right into that spot right there. And then on to the next piece. Well, this is the next piece. I'll show you what I got here. Oh no, this one's not. Oh, I still have to do some trimming and stuff here before I do that, but that one, that piece there goes between uh, this bar and the intercooler, which sits right there. So that's the next thing I gotta do.
Okay, so I hollowed it out using acetone and uh, it's too floppy. It's not strong enough. It looks all right on the top side, but no, it's way too floppy. And if I had done a double layer of it, it wouldn't have been any lighter than if I had made that out of aluminum. So that is going into the scrap heap and I'm gonna make one of these out of aluminum. And boom, we have the whole thing made out of aluminum. In and out, baby. Let me put the hood on and show you how it looks. Here it is. Now keep in mind, this is all, I'm gonna be fiberglassing the hood and the fenders all together. So uh, it'll just all come off as one piece. I gotta figure out how to fasten it in the front. And I already have a fasteners on the rear, so that's not a problem. But I'll have to figure all that out. Um, but anyways, so yeah, it goes in. Oh, let's try to get some light up in there. Yep, yep, see? Intercooler. And then out there. And I'll be making a, well actually there I don't think I need to do anything. But back here, I still have to make a little piece that fills that little bit there. But anyways, ta-da. All right, I'm gonna end the video here. We're probably at about a 12 or 15 minute video. So um, stay tuned for the next one. And if uh, you are a Camaro person and you hung around till the end, thank you for that. And uh, there'll be some Camaro co content coming soon. I already got the videos made. I just got to edit it all together. So anyways, uh, give me a thumbs up and, uh, and a subscribe if you are not a subscriber already. And uh, yeah, give me some comments. Tell me what you think.